Hello there and welcome back to another Luminar Neo tutorial. Many of you have asked me if Luminar Neo can be installed as a plugin into Adobe Photoshop Elements. And although there isn't an official way to do so, I will show you a simple method that works on both Mac and Windows machines. First, let's go through the installation process on Mac. However, if you're interested in Windows installation, simply use the playhead or the chapter option on the timeline to skip forward. Okay, so starting with the installation on the Mac. First of all, make sure that your Luminar Neo and Photoshop elements are closed. After that, open a finder and use the shortcut Shift, Command and A to access your applications. Here, search for the Luminar Neo icon. Once you find it, right click on it and select Show Package Contents. In the next window, double click on the contents and then again open the Resources folder. Here, search for the Luminar Neo plugin dot plugin. It will look like this. Once you find it, click on it and then simply use Command or Control C to copy it. You can also right click on the icon and select Copy. Now we need to go back to the applications. So again, use Shift Command A. Once you in your applications, search for your Adobe Photoshop elements. I have the version 2022. So once I find it, all I need to do is to double click on the folder and then instead of opening the application, open the support files folder. Inside, look for the plugins folder and again, simply open it. And now it's here where you want to paste your Luminar Neo plugin file. Now you can do it with using Command or Control V shortcut on your keyboard, or you can right click in the folder and use Paste Item. Once it's here, we are almost ready. So now let's go back into the applications one more time with the use of Shift Command A, open the Adobe Photoshop Element folder, and now open the actual application. When you try to access the photo editor, you will be prompt with the window asking you if you want to use the plugin that was not installed by Adobe. In this case, you want to say yes. When the editor open, we can open any image and then once we're ready, we're going to go into the filter, Skylum software, and Luminar Neo. This will open the plugin version of Luminar Neo and you can use it the same way as you would use it with Apple Photos, Lightroom Classic or Photoshop. You can use any of the presets here or you can go straight into the edit module where, for example, you can change the sky. So I'm going to do it very quickly. We're just going to replace it with a blue sky. So let's say that we apply something like this. And once we're done with changing the sky, we can just close the tool, apply any other adjustments and simply click on apply. This will now process the file, save it and bring it back to your Adobe Photoshop elements. So as you can see, we are back in elements with the picture updated with the new sky. And now you can go ahead and continue with your edit. So this is how you install your Luminar Neo as a plugin on a Mac into your Adobe Photoshop Elements. But this is just the beginning. If you're eager to learn the ropes of editing in Luminar Neo and craft stunning photos, you got to check out our Luminar Neo Masterclass. We've got over 70 easy to follow lessons packed into more than six hours of video. It's like taking your photo editing superpowers to the next level. For the best deal, just click on the link in the description of this video. And for more details, simply hop over to our website at cleverphotographer.com. Okay, so how do we install Luminar Neo as a plugin for Adobe Photoshop Elements on Windows? 
First come first, we need to get into our PC and then open the main hard drive. Most of the time, it's the C drive. Here, navigate into the program files. Now, not the program files with the 86 at the end of it, the regular program files. Here, look for folder, which is called Skylum. Open it, and again, open Luminar Neo. Now, there will be a list of files, and what you can do is click on one of the files and then hit L on your keyboard. This will bring you to the area or the section where are the files starting with L. What we're looking for is a file which has a plugin written on it and it's called Luminar Neo, just like the one you see on the screen now. Click on it to select it and then use the shortcut on your keyboard, Ctrl C. Or you can also right click on it and simply select the copy option. Once we've done that, let's go back into the Windows Drive. Again, Program Files, but this time we're gonna go into the Adobe folder. Here there will be selection of software, really depending on what you have on your computer, but we will go into the Photoshop Elements. After that, look for the Plugins folder, and it's here where you need to paste your file, the one we have copied a moment ago. Again, you can do that with the keyboard shortcut, which is Ctrl V, or you can right click and simply use the paste icon. Most likely, the system will ask you if you want to add the file here, so just click on Continue and Add it. Once it's here, we are almost ready. Let's go back into the Photoshop Elements folder and simply open the application. When you open the application, choose the Photo Editor. And when it opens, just open any photo by going into the File, Open, and just select any photo that you have ready. After this, we're gonna go to the top of our toolbar here, click on Filter, then select the Skylum software, and you should have the Luminar Neo option here. Click on it, and this will open the plugin version of Luminar Neo. When the application opens, you can use it just like with Lightroom Classic, Photoshop, or other similar applications. You can apply any preset here, or you can move the photo into the edit module where you can edit it. For us, for example, we can change the sky by going into the Sky AI tool, simply selecting one of the skies here, and changing it. When we finish changing the sky, we can close the tool, and when we finish editing, simply click on Apply. The application will apply the edit and export it back to the Photoshop Elements. Now we are back in Photoshop Elements, and you can see that the edit we have created in Luminar Neo was brought over. From here, you can simply continue with the edit with any of the tools available in the Photoshop Elements. So this is how you very simply install your Luminar Neo as a plugin on Windows into your version of Adobe Photoshop Elements. But this is just the beginning. If you eager to learn the ropes of editing in Luminar Neo and craft stunning photos, you got to check out our Luminar Neo Masterclass. We've got over 70 easy to follow lessons back into more than six hours of video. It's like taking your photo editing superpowers to the next level. For the best deal, just click on the link in the description of this video. And for more details, simply hop over to our website at cleverphotographer.com. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website cloudphotographer.com slash luminargift. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment, and share on this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors. And I can't wait to see you in the next video.